the hierarchy of objects in an IBM Rational Doors Formal Module. In this presentation, we focus on the objects contained within a formal module and how they are related. We'll learn how to organize objects hierarchically and explore some of the benefits of the hierarchical relationships. In Rational Doors, a requirements document is represented in a formal module. In a formal module, we expect to find headings, subheadings, descriptive text, tables, images, requirements, and other relevant information. Headings are used in order to organize information. Subheadings are also used in order to logically group information and further improve readability. All the information in such a document is related to each other, and every line in the document has to be considered in context. Here, for example, this requirement is for the handheld device and is a functional requirement, part of the system requirements. It is a best practice to organize objects hierarchically in rational doors. Rational doors does not force objects to be created hierarchically. This is something that has to be done mindfully. There are many benefits to organizing information hierarchically, as we will see later. But first, let's explore what is meant by hierarchy. Object hierarchy can be thought of as a family or tree relationship. At the root, we have the formal module. Next, we have the branches of the tree. Here we see four branches which represent some plain text, perhaps giving an overview of the module, and three headings organizing the formal module in sections. Here, the plain text and the headings are considered siblings. They are all at the same level, level one. The plain text is considered a leaf since it does not represent a section and thus should not have children. The headings can have children. At the next level, we see more plain text and subheadings. 3.1 subheading and 3.2 subheadings are siblings. Their parent is section 3 heading. Plain text B, which is a leaf, has two siblings, 1.1 subheading and 1.2 subheading. Its parent is section 1 heading. At the next level of hierarchy, we can see more branching and so forth. It is important to realize that requirements are always leaves. The hierarchy that exists between the objects is represented in the Module Explorer. Looking at the Module Explorer, we see the hierarchy that exists in the module. The children are nicely organized below their parent. Notice that the Explorer can be used to go directly to a specific item. For example, I can go to the functional requirements for the handheld device, or I can look at the environmental considerations, or review the introduction of the module. Notice that the requirements do not have children. Requirements are leaves on this tree. Being able to quickly locate information using the Explorer browser view is one benefit of organizing objects hierarchically. The same benefit can be experienced directly in the current view. View, level, can be used to show the depth of your tree up to a specific level. Selecting level one only displays the top most objects. Notice that the indicator represents that there are additional children below the object being displayed. Selecting level three reveals all level one, two, and three objects. Notice once again, the indicator of additional children below the object. If you only wanted to explore the outline of the module to a specific level, you can select View, Outline, 
which will display the heading objects to a particular level. The object hierarchy can also be seen graphically in a tree format. Filtering also takes advantage of the hierarchical organization. Notice that we can choose to select objects that are not leaves or objects that are leaves. We can show the descendants or ancestors and so forth. Some key benefits can be seen while editing. Deleting a section will delete all children in this section. You don't have to scroll and select all objects in the section. Deleting the parent will delete all subsequent children. And if you delete something in error, you can always undo it. Remember that an object is not deleted until the module is purged. Reorganization of the module is a lot easier with a hierarchy. A section can be selected and moved, and all of the subsequent children will move as well. This way, there is no risk of leaving a requirement behind. Move after, will move it at the same level, but after the object. Move below, will make it into a child. Let's move after. You see that the environmental considerations is now section 2.1 and the functions and purpose is now section 2.2. Inserting a new section provides two options as well. To create a sibling to the currently selected object, insert object. Notice that we just created a new Section 3, and the old 3 system requirements is now renumbered to 4. If we leave this object as a heading, then the siblings will remain renumbered. If it becomes object text, however, then you notice the numbers adjust accordingly. So what happens if you create an object below a text object. You get a number indicating this. Notice a difference. One more benefit to this hierarchical organization is the ability to assign access rights to a section and have the children inherit this access rights. This concludes our presentation. Thanks for watching.